Hey, it's Eagle Shadow, and today I'll be bringing you my first mech strategy guide. In this video, I'll talk about how to effectively play with the Angel, some strategies while playing it, and also what units and parts to use to maximize your effectiveness. Angel is the newest mech added to Air Mech, and is a sniper whose main purpose is to snipe enemy units while staying out of the fight. It is a powerful late game mech similar to the Warthog, because it thrives on its abilities, not units. Hopefully you'll learn the ins and outs of this mech, and you can decide if you want to buy it for kudos, or try it out. Now let's get to some gameplay. Alright, so first let's talk about the Angel's abilities. Abilities for the Angel are the most important part aspect of its gameplay. Uh, the first one down here is the sniper shot. This is the main ability for the angel and it gives it the ability to use a sniper rifle to shoot units from a distance. You must be a certain distance away from the unit to focus, but if you are, it auto locks onto targets and can shoot all the way across the screen. So to shoot, you just land and hold down right mouse button. So this is to aim and then to start shooting, you just hold down the left button and it will automatically shoot until you are out of energy. You can also just click left mouse button while holding down right for just one shot. Um, if a unit is far away though, the damage is decreased slightly, so you kind of want it to be like a mid-range, like about here. Um, second ability is loop. So, if you're at low health and you're being chased down by mechs or rockets, you use this to quickly escape with your life. So when you're in the air, you press the middle mouse button and you do a loop-de-loop -loop in the air so nothing can hit you, which is great for escaping. Higher levels give a lower cooldown, and at level 3, you can even carry a unit in loop if you need to evacuate a unit. So the third ability is the glide ability. This is similar to the loop ability but for the ground. So it allows you to glide across the battlefield while on the ground and is accessed by holding the middle mouse button and moving. Um, so you move quickly away from enemy fire but you can't shoot while you're gliding and it drains your energy quickly. Um, higher levels give more speed while gliding. This fourth one is your quick shot ability. This just decreases the time it takes to reload your sniper so you can sh uh, shoot faster while you're holding down the left mouse button. Um, this last one here I've upgraded is the railgun ability. This is an ultimate ability meaning it requires in-game level 7 to unlock. It vastly increases your sniper damage as well as your energy regeneration while it's being used. And then the last three here are just your generic increase creep spawn, equip guardians, and increase your in-game experience rate. Alright, so now that we know what all of these abilities do, I'm going to tell you the best order to buy your abilities in. So, during the pre-game, you should immediately buy this increase your in-game experience and the first ability for the sniper shot. So that way, you can quickly level up to um, make more abilities and also have a sniper right at the beginning of the game. So as you level up, you want to um, increase this experience as uh, much as you can so that you can level up your in-game level faster. And then what you want to do, so you want to buy the first level of all of these other four down here. Um, so this one can't be accessed till level 7, so you're just going to want to buy these three at first. And then as soon as this second uh, level for the sniper shot is available, you want to buy that so that you can incre increase your deploy speed and range so that you can shoot more units faster. And then, so you really only need level 1 for the loop and level 1 for the glide, because you don't need to go that fast for gliding. And then looping, you're probably, it takes about 10 seconds to um, cool down. And so you're probably not going to be needing to escape more than once every 10 seconds or so. So it's not necessary to get level 2 for that. Um, but you, what you are going to do is um, buy the as many levels as you can for this one. Because this way you can shoot even faster. 
So what you want it to be do, what the goal to do for these abilities is to be able to shoot so fast that you can like two or three shot a unit before the enemy can pick it up and micro it away. So that's kind of the goal there. So this ability here, the quick shot, is going to help you do that. And then once you reach level 7, you want to immediately buy this ultimate ability. Because it does plus 40% damage, which is so helpful. It'll make, like, from 4-shotting a tank to 2-shotting a tank. It's awesome. So you want to do that immediately. And then as soon as this gets level 3, you want to get level 3 for that as well. So you want to max out your experience ability, um, eventually your ultimate ability, your quick shot ability, and your sniper shot ability. And then optional is to buy guardians whenever you feel is necessary. So that's how you're going to use and buy your abilities as you progress in game. The Angel Mech is probably the least dependent on units because it relies so heavily on its abilities. So it's not a big deal what kind of units you take to battle, it's really personal preference. I'll just show you my loadout and how I would use them. So obviously you're going to want to bring money makers, and the choice of tank is up to you, so Longhorn, Gemini, or Dillo, but I'll warn you that it, the Angel can't carry two Dillos until in game level 4. Of course, you need a form of anti-air and a support unit. I chose the Seeker and Ratchet, the two generic ones that are the most common. And for artillery, it may not be necessary because you are kind of the artillery mech. So this slot could be your wild card. So experiment with other units to see what works best. My generic light unit would be Joker, and an angel can carry three at level in game level five. Light units are pretty critical for harassing, which is a large part of the Angel's playstyle. In this meta, Goliath or even Devastator is pretty popular, so I've brought that as well. I have to warn you though, Angel has a very bad carry capacity, because it is not a support type, so you will not be going anywhere quickly if you are carrying a Goliath. Finally, we'll need an infantry. This largely depends on the meta. Right now, lots of people like the Jumper and Morty. I'll just take the generic soldier so you get the point. Alright, so now that we know units and abilities, I'll show you how to use them in combination of each other to win all your games. Alright, so now we know our units and abilities for the Angel, now let's get into the behind the scenes. So first we have our pilot. Um, I would recommend Lexi because she gives more attack power so you can kill things quicker. But you also die more quickly because she has minus 15 damage resistance. So you're kind of a glass cannon while using Lexi. But it's great for the angel since it's so good at killing things. An alternate to Lexi um, is Frank. He does more attack power and has more damage resistance. So he doesn't have the downside that Lexi has. But he does have minus 25% ground speed. But that's not really a problem with Angel because the Angel isn't moving while the sniper rifle is out, so ground speed doesn't matter. But Frank is a Halloween exclusive. You can buy him on the market for pretty cheap, but if you don't have Frank, uh, Lexi is just as good of a pilot. Alright, on to items. So the two I would recommend, the first one is the Chocolate Bunny, which is an Easter exclusive, because it gives 2% uh, damage resistance, so like I said, you won't die as quickly. And the other one is the Fluorescent Light Bulb, light bulb which is an Earth Day exclusive. This is because it gives 5% flight energy efficiency. So, after you're done sniping units, you're, really, you're always really low on energy and you need to get back to your outpost quickly. And so with this item, you won't drain your energy as fast while you're flying back to your outpost to regenerate your health and energy. So those are the two I would recommend for the Angel. And then Guardian, this is pretty obvious, you would use the Energy Guardian because it gives 5% more energy reserve, so energy cap, towards your air mech and you can equip up to 3 in game depending on your in game level, it's an ability you upgrade. And so this basically means you can shoot more stuff for longer. So, because you get have more energy, Angel drains so much energy, so anything to do with energy, you want to have. So, that's the Guardian I would choose. Alright, now let's get into the nitty gritty of 
charge. So, I would not recommend the quick charge core because it gives less energy cap, so that kind of defeats the purpose of having your energy guardians, so I would just stick with the uh, generic power core. And then for the other engine, there's two to choose from, the blueprinted turbines and the advanced engine. So the advanced engine gives 6% more airspeed, which is good for flying back to your base or escaping the enemy. However, it gives 8% less flight energy efficiency. So even if you are fast, if you run out of energy while you're getting back to your base, it doesn't matter how fast you are with your airspeed because you're out of energy, so you're slow. So if you don't want that to happen, you use the blueprinted turbines because this gives more flight energy efficiency and more airspeed, and its only downsides are if you die, which you shouldn't be because the angel has so many evasive maneuver abilities. So, and then for guns, I don't have, I'm not a high level on the angel, so I don't have uh, the full parts. But basically, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one. So, there's three, uh, three angel only parts, the, this one, this one, and this one. So these two just give guns attack power, and this one gives guns attack power and, uh, more energy drain, so you drain your energy quicker. Now this sounds like a good thing, because it gives more attack power, but it's guns attack power. Guns is not your sniper rifle. Those are just the little pew pews you have if you run out of energy. And so, if you're out of energy and you're, the enemy unit is almost dead, um, you can use these parts to uh, kill it quicker with your little pew pews before you run back to your base. So I would recommend this one if you want to do that, and then probably this one. Um, that I wouldn't do that, this one. I would do the bipod and the advanced pistol ammo if you want to do that. But again, it doesn't affect your sniper rifle. So a better option is actually the specialized shield because it gives more damage resistance. So especially if you're using Lexi, you kind of want to negate that minus 15 damage resistance she has. But So you can use a part such as this one. But it do does give less energy cap, airspeed, and ground speed. So it's a lot of negatives for just a little positive. But if you really want to, you can. And then um, structure parts. Um... So all of these armor and heavy armor stuff, they just give air mech damage resistance um, with a different negative stats. So you can look through those and choose the one you want if you want to do that. But if not, you should use the boosted actuators which give transform speed or servos which also gives transform speed. But this one does give a little less energy cap so it's not as recommended. But you want transform speed because you transform so much you go from ground to air to ground because you run out of energy and run back to your base and then back again. So it's good to transform quickly while doing that. So I would do this one. And then alien metal is obviously good because its only downsides are if you die, which you shouldn't be. Lastly, we have special parts. Um, the radar booster and the inertial dampeners I'd use on most mechs because they have such little downsides. And this one gives recharge rate so that means if you're out of energy which you are a lot with the angel the energy replenishes faster while you're over your base and then this one just gives more radar range so that's always good for any mech another these two aren't really good for this mech but uh one that you could consider is this one because it gives energy efficiency and transform speed but it has so many negatives that affect your energy so um, I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you really want, if you want a really high transform speed, you could use this in combination with the other two uh, structure parts I talked about. But this is probably the loadout for parts I would use on my angel. So that's it for the nitty gritty. Now let's finally get into some gameplay to see how to use all this stuff. After you've bunkered your creeps and defended your outposts or whatever you need to do, um, what you might want to do is get some trucks or infantry to harass. So harassing is a big part of the angels' uh, early game uh, things to do because 
What you do is you drop down some trucks and then start sniping away units. And so if you can snipe away a unit or two while you're still level 1, you can level up and then you regen your energy and health somewhat so that you can continue sniping stuff and then you're already level 2 so you can get more abilities. So it's just a really good thing to do harassing early game. And then it also gives you time to build your frontline units. So these are basically the units you're going to want to build. Also some artillery if you have it. And so what you're going to want to do is move up your frontline units to the battlefield. Which is over here. And then as an angel what you're going to want to do once you move your units. You just want to stand behind the front lines and just start shooting stuff. So that's basically what an angel does. Um, so it's not really unit dependent this mech. So you just kind of have to build your uh, initial units like I have and then just kind of place them down and go start shooting stuff. So another thing to do if you don't want to stand here and shoot, what you can do is go behind the enemy lines and then start shooting stuff because then you can hit stuff tanks from the back as well. And then if you're low on health like I was, you just loop-de-loop -loop out of there and on way your way back to the base. Another cool thing is you can um, actually uh, glide so and in maps with like canyons um, you can actually glide across the canyons so like if there's an abyss uh, you could just glide right across, across it while using glide and uh, so yeah and then late game once you have a tech pod 1 you build Goliath but I have to warn you again it moves super slow with Goliath this is just a level 3 angel it's really slow so it's not good at micro units because it is such a tanky unit it just snipes everything um, so that's just its main thing so as long as you're sniping units uh, with your angel you're basically good to go and what you want to do is try not to die like I did, so don't throw yourself in the middle of the battle. You kind of want to be on the outskirts, so like over here, where you're only in range of, say, one unit maybe. And then you just snipe it and move on to the next unit. And then once you're low on health, you just go back to your base and heal and repeat. And then I'm also going to show you your abilities. So I mean, your guardians. So with the energy guardians... Um, they really just increase your cap so that you can shoot more stuff. So like, now it doesn't take as much energy to shoot, so I can take 5 or 6 shots rather than 3 or 4. So that's what Guardians are useful for. They're especially useful in this mech. Um, and late game, once you hit this level 7 ultimate ability, you basically one shot almost anything. You can even one shot mechs, so it's really cool. Uh, late, this is really a late game mech, so you just kind of want to hold out till you have some Goliaths and till you are level 7, and your abilities will just wreck everything, so nothing will be safe from you once you're level 7 in your angel with all of your abilities. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so that was my tutorial on how to play this epic new mech, the angel. So I hope you guys liked it, I hope you learned something new, I hope I covered everything. This is my first mech tutorial, I will be coming out with another guide for every single mech there is, similar to this one. Um, I put a lot of work into it, I tried to think of everything I could, and uh, I'm not the best angel player there is, but I know how to play it. So if you guys learned something, or you liked it, like and subscribe. And refer me in-game if you're new, download and play this awesome game of Air Mech. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.